So in my last video, I built a reactive visualizer in Unreal Engine that revolved around the Dirty Wave Mate portable tracker sequencer and synthesizer. Not only as the sole piece of equipment used to compose the track for the video, but also as the main prop used within the visualizer as well. All with the Mate screen playing in live mode, synchronized to the Ableton session with all the exported audio stems and MIDI data from the Mate. To start, I bought this Dirty Wave Mate 3D model on Sketchfab, which conveniently came with all the pieces separated already. This is super handy, as to get this working properly, we need to have a separated plane within the object to host the video from. From here, I just had to get all the pieces textured in accordance with either a glass, black metal, black rubber, or black plastic material. With the mate textured, I then created a new blueprint using the OSC templates blueprint and imported all the pieces of the model into there. You can download the relevant Unreal Engine blueprint templates and Max for Live devices from my GitHub page. The link to that resource will be in the description of the video. From here it came down to setting up the Mate blueprint. More specifically, so a recorded video of the Mate screen can be projected on a surface within the Mate's 3D model, as well as being triggered to start and stop with the OSC data coming from Ableton. To start with the blueprint side of things, create a new variable, make it an object reference class, and name it media player. Drag the media player variable into the editor and select the set media player option. Drag off of the media player input and type in media player to reference the appropriate source. Click the media player object and go to the right side of the screen. Under the tab labeled media player, Add our newly created media player. Coming off of the set node, create an open source object. Then plug that into the set node input. Under the media source tab, this is where we'll choose our specific video clip once we've created and imported that file. With that little bit set up, connect it to the appropriate MIDI to OSC branch node and you should be good to go. Now with that set up, we need to actually add some media, that way there's actually something to play on the main. In the content drawer, right click and create a new media player object. Then click the checkbox stating video output media texture asset. The media player should now be set up to import video files. In this use case, since we're using the Dirty Wave Mate, I just plugged in the device to a computer and recorded a performance using the handy Dirty Wave Mate web display and OBS. With that take recorded, it was then a matter of editing the footage to a correct aspect ratio, as well as removing any heads and tails from the video clip for optimum synchronization purposes. After exporting the edited recording, I then imported it into Unreal and linked it with the previously created media player. When it comes to projecting the video texture on the screen within the Mate, we need to set up a basic video material for the video to be projected on. After creating the new material, add a texture sample node. Under the texture tab on the left side of the screen, select the name of the video file that you imported. In this case, it's mate underscore v01. After that's set up, add a texture coordinate node and attach it to the UV input on the texture sample object. This will allow us to scale the size of the projected video as needed in case adjustments need to be made later. With all of that set up, update the stock material on the screen object with our newly created video material, then everything should be good to go. With all of that set up, it should just be a matter of selecting the correct video in the media player choosing the correct MIDI channel for the Blueprint and Max for Live device, then sending the Mate Blueprint a start MIDI message with your Ableton session. That way, once you hit play in your Ableton session, then the Mate's video in Unreal Engine should more or less synchronize with the start of your audio session. The MIDI start point for the video might need to be moved a couple frames early to help offset any weird delays, so be sure to play around with that and see what works best on your end. 
Now you should be able to record a video performance on the Mate and synchronize it with the exported stems and MIDI all within Unreal Engine and Ableton Live. If you'd be interested in more thorough breakdowns of my past reactive visualizers, be sure to check out my playlist of past tutorials and walkthroughs, as I've covered everything from setting up MIDI triggered lights, setting up my Ableton session, to triggering Niagara effects and more. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve things, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.